Good morning. I'm Harold Ebersall, and I'm a part of the outreach staff of Fellowship Community Church. Normally, my wife, Sean, and I are working in Bangladesh, and we've been here on the last couple of years, as you know, due, a, due to a medical leave. Now, recently, our country, and in fact, the whole world, has been filled with fear because of the brand new coronavirus, COVID-19. And in some places, there's panic. I know in Bangladesh, where we've spent a lot of time, people in villages are saying, if there's any caregivers at our hospital who are caring for COVID patients, they can't even come back to the hospital, to their village at night because they're afraid they might catch the virus from them. So we've had to provide housing in the hospital building for a lot of the potential caregivers. And in some ways, it's hard to blame them. It can be very frightening because we don't have any immunity. There's no vaccine to prevent COVID. And once you get it, there's no sure medication that you can take that will get you better. In some ways, I understand the feeling because I've spent a lot of time over the past two years without much of an immune system myself due to the various chemotherapies I've been on. But you know, during that time, God's peace has filled me. And that peace is available to you as well. It's available to everyone because we know that God is our true defense. He's the defense against COVID, against cancer, and against all of the potential dangers of life here in a fallen world. Actually, COVID is not the biggest crisis we're facing right now. There's a far more deadly disease that's stalking our planet. COVID has a fatality rate of 1% to 10%, depending on age and a lot of other factors. But the disease I'm talking about is far worse. It is the ultimate pandemic, and it's called sin. It has infected 100% of humanity. Not only has it infected everyone, it is 100% fatal. And if one gets it, there's no actual medication that we can take. We'd love to take some and be rid of sin, wouldn't we? Most people, though, are unaware of the danger, and they're unaware that actually there is an antidote. There's a vaccine, if you will, and that antidote is Jesus' death for us on the cross. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15 puts it this way. Because God's children are human beings made of flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Only in this way could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. You know, it's a fascinating thing that antibodies are carried in the blood. And we've been given those ultimate antibodies in the shed blood of Jesus on the cross. Through his death on the cross, he broke the power of sin and death. So in Christ, we're 100% safe. Charles Wesley wrote about that in the great hymn, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing my great Redeemer's praise. One of the verses says this, he breaks the power of canceled sin. He sets the prisoner free. His blood can make the foulest clean. His blood avails for me. You know, we may not be immune to corona, but we're immune to death. So we have nothing to fear from corona or any other disease. When Jesus was talking to Mary after Lazarus had died and before he raised him from the dead, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? That is the great question for all of us today. What Jesus asked Mary, do you believe this? If so, it makes all the difference in the world. We no longer need to fear death. 
We're free. We can be filled with joy and thanksgiving to God, even in the face of COVID, cancer, or any other disease, because now we are immune to death. Even if we die, we will live. Death is no longer our final destiny. It's only a door to eternity with Jesus. In fact, Jesus called it being asleep. Paul describes this process in this way. For sin is the sting that results in death, and the law gives sin its power. But thank God he gives us the victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always work enthusiastically for the Lord, for you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. So because we are free from sin and death, because we have that ultimate immunity to death, we're free to serve others enthusiastically. As Paul said in Galatians 5.13, you, my dear brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but don't use your freedom to indulge in the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. So there's no need for fear. We're free to serve. We're immune to the greatest pandemic of all, and this sets us free from any fear and free from the fear of death, free to serve others in love. We've received that antidote, the antibodies, to the greatest pandemic of all time. Now we have the opportunity of thanking God for that and then sharing that antidote with others. The hymn, O oh, for a Thousand Tongues, continues like this. My gracious master and my God, assist me to proclaim, to spread through all the earth abroad the honors of your name. So if you have the chance, listen to that song, O oh, for a Thousand Tongues, to sing on YouTube or wherever you've got it. I really like the second chapter of Acts version. You can Google it, find whatever you uh, can find, and then let's praise God together. And remember Jesus' words when he said, the one who believes in me will live even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this?